I have no foundation on. I have nothing on my face except the lip balm. I feel bad I didn't do complexion in the last video. A few of you reached out to me and said that that was something that y'all wanted to see. So here I am with a little naked face. Uh, I have a pimple right here. It's just gonna be covered with foundation anyway. So we're just gonna go straight into complexion, all that cool stuff, whatever. Very first thing I do after I cleanse my face, after I do all my moisturizer, eye cream, all that stuff. If y'all wanna see the skincare that I use, Maybe that'll be in another video. Who knows? I don't know if y'all actually care about my skincare routine or not. <laughs> so I, after I do all that, I go in with, like I said, the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Primer, just straight onto my hand. I do about two pumps like that. And I honestly just like press it in like the areas that I'm a little bit more oily and then I just kind of rub it out. Um, so once I put on my primer, I, like I said on the last video, I use a Stay Naked foundation from Urban Decay in the shade 20WY. I put about two pumps on the back of my hand. And this is a really liquidy foundation, so I actually prefer to use a brush with it, but I'm lazy, so it's easier for me to just use a beauty blender sometimes because of how I use a beauty blender that everyone's gonna freak out about. So uh, most people, when they put on foundation, they bounce the foundation around, but I just kind of dip it in, put the foundation like where I want it, and I literally just smear it down. And the whole world is gonna lose their mind over this and it's gonna be really funny. Um, so yeah, I'll just put the foundation all over. I might bounce in like smaller areas, but on like large surface areas, I'm just like, this is fine. I like this foundation a lot because it's not super suffocating on my skin. And I put my foundation everywhere, including on top of my eyelids, on my forehead. Oh man, yeah. When I didn't put the bronzer in my last video, I had a whole thing where I talked about like how big my forehead is and how I used to get teased because everyone was always like, oh, you could play a movie on your forehead or high five. I got a lot of high fives to my forehead. I mean, I still sometimes will, it's kind of funny. I don't really mind it as much anymore, but I am still always having bangs because I don't, I mean, it's already out there. I don't need to put it out there any further than it already is. After that, I go in with the NARS Chantilly Concealer and I'll roll it around in there and I'll come underneath the eye. I do, I use a lot of concealer. I don't think anybody understands that I buy more concealer than foundation. And so I'll do pretty wide triangles underneath my eyes. I put it on my chin. I don't even see a difference, but in my mind, it makes a difference, so I do it anyway. And I actually cover my entire nose with concealer. So this whole area is basically concealer, which is why everyone's like, oh my gosh, you look like a doll. It's all concealer. And here I'll just do like a little V. And then that's it. And I'll get the beauty blender again. Here I will bounce out. I just kind of cover this whole area with the concealer, mostly because um, whenever I put concealer all here, it kind of helps like control the oil a little bit more. And I'll just kind of bring that concealer right there up a little bit. This is the Kat Von D translucent setting powder. Like I said, that's what I use. Actually just kind of take this guy. All that powder just came out. And I just kind of shake it once, twice, upside down. I use one of the Laura Mercier uh, Velour Powder Poofs, and that's normally what I set my under eyes with in the last video. Uh, you didn't get to see any of this, but I'll like heavy stack that powder underneath my eyes and all across my nose. Cause that concealer just makes, right here on my nose, it makes the, foundation and everything stay a little bit longer in that area throughout the day 
So I don't necessarily bake. I'll finish setting my whole face with just like whatever's excess on this. And then this guy, the Kabuki brush, I'll just come back in and dust it all away. When it comes to bronzing my face, which is a part of the video last time that got deleted on accident, I use the uh, Cover FX Cream Contour Kit. And with this, I don't use like any of the shades except this guy right there, which is the N60 in their Cream Contour. And it looks like I just mush it all the time. Mush, mush, mush. Um, and I'll use the Benefit brush that I have. And I just kind of bounce it in there a little bit, smear it around, make sure that the brush is pretty coated. I'll go in here on the sides of my cheeks. With this, I'm just pretty rough. Like there, I want it more diffused than anything. I want a little bit of color, but I don't like to have a whole, whole lot of color on my face. I'd rather use that contour to do more of like the gaunt look. Do little circles. Come here on the big screen. And I just add a lot of bronzer like towards my hairline and on my little devil horns here because I have two calyx. Do, 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 do. And I kind of, that's it. Then I might do a little here, but not much. Like I might just dip into that and go. Now, going in with the Sephora Collection uh, Colorful Contour and Second Chance, the N35. This is the contour that I go to. You won't really see me use anything else. This has been my bread and butter for, since it released probably two years ago, maybe. I used a little angled MAC brush and I need a fill, what's up? And spin this guy in there. Ear hole down. And I already love that. I love contour and what it can do to a face. Everyone always tries to make it a lot more difficult than it needs to be. Um, contouring has no preference. Anything that I'm telling you is strictly what I do, not what you have to do. But if you like how my makeup looks or anything like that, then totally feel free to like utilize what I'm telling you. Now we're just gonna go in with this. It's the Morphe M218 brush. And this is not everyone's favorite brush, like I said, to do your nose contour, but this is what I like to use. I go down on the sides. And then already, you can already see a difference. Contouring the side of the nose. That's good enough for me. Going in with the little short, just like a piece of lint on this, a little short dense bristled brush from MAC, taking a little bit of that contour and coming right here underneath the nose. Here are my lash, cool. Um, coo, coo. If you haven't seen this movie called Hunt for the Wilder People, it's directed by Taika Waititi, who also did What We Do in the Shadows and Thor Ragnarok and uh, what else has he done? Oh, Jojo Rabbit. All of his films are absolutely amazing. And I have been obsessed with Hunt for the Wilder People. It came out in 2016, but I just keep rewatching it too. And it is so funny. So funny. So when I'm like, cool, like it's from that movie. Again, taking the NYX Ultra Mini Pearl highlight on a little flat brush like this from MAC. Just kind of tipping it upside down, getting a little bit on there and just blinding the camera. That's all the camera can see now is just my nose. Like <laughs> uh, Fenty Beauty, the kilowatt foil with Sandcastle and Minted Mojito is what I'm using right now, that guy. Uh, taking that same brush, dipping it into both. And I just kind of smirk just a little bit to get those cheeks up. Today I actually am going to use a little bit of the Anastasia Amorizi highlight. And so I'm just going to a little bit on top. This one is... So this side to this side. This I feel is almost like just smoother than this. 
more smooth. Next is brows. I'm just gonna actually do this whole brow and then go do the other one. When I was younger, I used to do my eyebrows and uh, straight up Groucho marks. They were they were so square in the front. They were just thick square bricks and they were black all the way through, through and through. And I remember one of my uh, friends was like, you look like Groucho Marx. And I was like, I should change the way I do my eyebrows. Uh, so I'm getting a little bit more pomade on the end of the brush to add to the end of the brow. I've got the Anastasia Soft Glam with me right now. So there's a black in here, that noir that I'll use in just a second, but I'm gonna take the spoolie and any of that excess product, we're just gonna slowly work forward. Where I use a more dense angled brush and I take that dark black eyeshadow and just run it through the back. Uh, taking a little bit of that concealer on the back of my hand. Taking one of these, the little shader brush that I have from MAC. Running it through that concealer and then run it in underneath that brow. So we're gonna move on to eyes today. What do we wanna do? I always use a lot of blue, so I don't wanna do blue today. Um, so maybe something a little warmer. Yeah, we could do like a yellow, orange, goldy look. I'm just putting the concealer over my eyes. Y'all saw me do that in the previous video as well. Taking a little flat concealer brush just to move the pigment around a little faster. This is the one that I keep using as a mirror, but it's got some really pretty yellows. Oh, look, you can see the Texas Chainsaw Massacre poster that I have off to the side of me. Um, it's got a lot of really pretty yellows that I like in there. Today, it's not really about the eyeshadow. It's going to be more about the... Um, Eyeliner. Going in, let's use the bone color underneath the brow. I'm, I am going to use this palette, but I'm also going to use the Mi Vita Loca palette. This big old thing came out of nowhere. Uh, this is the Kat Von D Mi Vita Loca palette. It came out four years ago, I think. I don't know. It was one of the first palettes I ever bought um, from Sephora, but it's got a really, really pretty color scheme in it. I love this color called Fran over here. So it's a really bright yellow. We're going to start packing that yellow shadow on there because Fran is so pretty. It's, it's not going to be a pastel yellow. It's more of like a, a mustard yellow, which is one of my favorite things to use. I love blue eyeshadow and I love yellow eyeshadow. I love using them together. Uh, but today, like I said, we're going to do something a little bit warmer. I love yellow. If you're ever in a bad mood, put on yellow eyeshadow and you just feel one, like the brightest thing in the room. But also I think yellow is just such a happy color. Um, all I wear is black. Uh, I don't. I haven't owned any color in probably over nine years. Um, but yeah, I love a yellow eyeshadow. That's like the only place. My makeup is the only place that I'll wear actual color, and then like my tattoos. We're gonna go in with this Egypt color, and just like I said, half rainbows, and then buff it out. And then we're going to take this little orange color here, and that one's called 
Sylvia. And we're just gonna kind of add a little bit more orange right in here. I'm actually gonna use Kat Von D's liquid lipstick in the shade Nosferatu. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of this, just a little bit on the back of my hand. And then we're gonna go through with a little brush from Morphe, the M156, this guy. And we're gonna take a little bit of that liquid lipstick. And we're just gonna kind of place it. I like using liquid lipsticks underneath the eyes so that whenever my um, eye does start to cry, it doesn't run. And you can use this in your waterline, it doesn't hurt. I also like using uh, liquid lipsticks underneath the eyes just because whenever you add a shadow to them, it sticks really well and it helps me at least blend out um, shadows sometimes because I want it a little bit more gradient underneath the eye, but it's a little difficult at times. This is Destroyer out of the Mi Vita Loca palette. I'm just gonna run that in there with a fluffy brush and we're gonna pack that in here right on top of that liquid lipstick. And what I'm doing is I'm almost pressing into, like underneath my eyeball, into the socket. Now what everyone loves to watch me do, excuse me, my eyeliner. Um, taking that eyeliner. And with this, this eyeliner is a little bit different than what I did last time. It's still going to be the same like line over, over, but I'm actually going to show you a little bit um, more detailed and then also um, show you how to do eyeliner underneath and on top. So now that that's on, I did a little bit more of like a square, you'll see why. Um, so I'm actually gonna start right here, like in the middle color of my eye and I'm going to place just like a little line, little. And I'm actually bringing it up and we're going to connect it to this guy. And we're just blending out this bottom line so it's not as like crazy looking. And here I want it to be a little sharper so we're going to angle it up. and just kind of cut it like that, right? Same thing on top. We're gonna to do a little line. Okay, so that's like the gist of like what this eyeliner is probably gonna end up looking like. So I'm gonna fill it and then we're gonna thicken the lines out a little bit more and then, um, make them a little more smooth even, but I think it's really important that you like trace out like what you want to do first and then go in and fill and all that fun stuff. All right, so now that I've filled that in, So I'm actually going to do my other eye off camera really fast. Um, so this is what we've got so far. I'm going to do the eyeliner on this side and then I'm going to show you how to clean it up with concealer and then we'll move on to lashes and lips and we're done. All right. Now I have both eyes on. You can see that I still have shadow all in my eyelashes, which is why it's important that you put mascara on before you put on your eyelashes. Almost fell off my chair. Anyway. So I have both eyes pretty much done and I'm going to go through with a little bit of mascara and we're just going to 
get rid of all that shadow with a mascara wand. And let's see. And then we're gonna go through with a little bit of concealer and that tiny little shade of brush again because this fixes everything. So if it's not perfect, it's totally fine because this fixes everything. You'll take a little bit of that concealer and you're gonna run it right underneath here. And I always put like highlight back over where I had that concealer go through so that there's not like a harsh line. But yeah, so that kind of sharpens it up, cleans it up a little bit better. All right. I love graphic eyeliner. I don't care how crazy I look. I don't care if I look like a clown. I absolutely love it. Now, so all we have to do are lashes and lips now. I want to do something super red since I've already got a little bit of red underneath my eye. Why not? This is the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Nosferatu. It's what I put underneath my eye here. And I love it. But I feel like now my lips are too bright for the under eye. So I'm actually gonna take a little, that little brush again from Morphe and I'm gonna take a little bit more of that liquid lipstick, the back of my hand, man. And we're actually just gonna kinda paint over some of that shadow. Just to kinda darken it up a little. And if you use a liquid lipstick underneath your eyes like this, then if you mess up this bottom line, you can just kind of go through and like clean it up with that. No one will know. All right, last thing, eyelashes, which are my fave. I think eyelashes bring the whole look together. Once that liquid lipstick dries, I am gonna put just a tiny little bit of um, mascara on the underside of my eyes. Yo, I don't even know how to open these. These are the Lash Naked Drama from Kiss. Uh, these are eyelashes that I use because they're cheap. Uh, let's use this guy. Took off one of the lashes already, this one. And what I was trying to show you on that other video was this. You can just throw a lash like all willy nilly on there so that it stays a little bit more bent and that the ends stay down. My eyes already crying. It's like, don't put a lash on me. You're getting lashes. Normally I would do my lipstick during this point, but I kind of got that out of the way already. So I'll just go in with a little bit of mascara on the underneath side. I'll hold it like this. <laughs> and we're just gonna put a little, little bit of mascara underneath the eye. All right, not a lot, just a little bit. Did I mess that up? Oh, I did. I fix it. Yeah, so yellow and red always remind me of McDonald's, but it's some of my favorite uh, combinations. So I love yellow and red, I love yellow and blue, anything like that. So they've been on there a hot second. I can take them off. So we're gonna take a little bit of the Black Tone Duo Glue. Some people asked me what kind of eyelash glue I was using in the last video. This one. And we're gonna set him aside and let him dry for a second and I'll just kind of like talk to y'all, I guess. Um, oh, I could show you how to draw hearts. A lot of people always ask me how to draw hearts on your face and it's actually really easy if you use a brush. So maybe I'll show you how to do that. Yeah, so if you're ever interested in like 
doing little designs of something on your face, like I really want to do like a heart or something like really cute. You can use like um, the end of an eyeliner like this uh, is from the Wet n Wild eyeliner that I use to fill. Um, you can use something very small and circle or you can use a brush like this. Uh, and all you do is take I use liquid lipsticks for everything, like I said, so drawing on my face is like easier with these. And so I'll take a little bit, my eyes crying already. Anyway, so I'll take the end of uh, like any kind of brush, this one already has some on it. And this is just a Morphe M250 brush. And I'll take a little bit of that liquid lipstick, dip it on that end, and I'll do a dot. And then I'll do another pretty saturated dot, like right next to it. Like that. And then, I like this brush because it's super teeny tiny. Uh, I will take a little bit of the liquid eyeshadow and I basically just draw a V from the outer corner of both dots. And it's a cute little heart. Super simple, super easy to do. And then I'll go in with more liquid. Lipstick to kind of fill. And I always do stuff like this after my highlights on because it's kind of hard to maneuver highlight around something like this. All right, so then my eyelashes are done now. I showed y'all something trivial that y'all will probably never use, but two dots and a little triangle or a little V underneath and you got a heart. Taking the lash from the middle, grinding in the mirror, and just placing it right in the middle. Cause I swear lashes just bring a whole look together. Hopefully you are, cause this is at its crying and this is the one that'll give me trouble. All right. Same thing. So the lashes are on and I take mascara and put it on top of my fake lashes because I just like that it makes them look a little thicker. Some people say that it ruins your lash, but I don't care. And so I actually just run it through like the ends. just like on the ends and it just makes them a little bit more harsh and less like soft like these are very soft and then this is like a little bit more intense all right and this one was a lot faster than my other one so yay and then this is the final look um and I hope that this one is going to be easier to edit. I hope that it all comes together a little bit better. I'm gonna try and add music and all that stuff. Um, if you ever recreate any of my looks, please tag me um, on Instagram and then I will totally, totally, totally um, pick like my favorite three and on my next video, throw like their pictures and Instagram uh, handles on the video so that everybody gets exposure. So thanks for sticking around, guys. Woo!